Phase changes. A phase change occurs when matter changes from one state to another. When solid water turns to liquid water, we call it melting. When liquid water turns to steam, we call it vaporization. Vaporization that occurs throughout the whole liquid is called boiling. Vaporization that occurs only at the surface is called evaporation. When water vapor turns into liquid water, we call it condensation. When liquid water turns into solid water, we call it freezing. Sometimes a solid can go directly to a gas. This is called sublimation. The opposite of sublimation is deposition, going from a gas to a solid. The state of matter a substance is in is dependent upon its particle's kinetic energy. As the particles in a substance increase or decrease, it will change from one state of matter to another. To change the energy of the particles, you can either add or remove thermal energy or pressure. As you increase the thermal energy, the temperature will increase and the kinetic energy of the particles will also increase. When the kinetic energy of the particles become fast enough to start changing state, the temperature will hold steady. After the kinetic energy of all the particles have increased and 100% of the substance is in the new state of matter, the temperature will start to increase again. The opposite will happen if we remove thermal energy. The temperature will decrease and the kinetic energy of the particles will decrease as well. Holding the temperature at a certain level and then changing the pressure can change the energy of the particles, which will also cause a change in the state of the substance. Notice how at a certain temperature, as the pressure increases, the substance moves from a gas to a liquid to a solid. Review. Increasing thermal energy will increase the kinetic energy of the particles and cause the substance to change from one state to another. Decreasing thermal energy will decrease the kinetic energy of the particles and cause the substance again to change from one state to another. Change in the pressure can also cause the state of matter to change. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.